but with the 3D modeling, with photorealism, and in particular with the virtual reality experiences, we're afforded the ability to be more involved in the project. Closer to what we did 100 years ago, where architects were the master builders. We are building their building in the computer and in our heads before they have to stick a shovel into the ground. It's a major mind shift for the traditional architecture firm. There was a webinar where they were showing how the engineers and architects could actually work in the same virtual model. I said, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to do that. What do I have to do to do that? As an industry, we're slow to adapt. In particular, in this country, as an AAC industry as a whole, we're slow to adapt. I think on the other hand, you also have very revolutionary firms that are willing to embrace different technologies to try to get a competitive edge or do something a little differently. And that's the approach we've taken with the technology. We have a lot more to gain by trying than not trying at all. The adoption of technology has not been a hurdle for us. I think it's something that is in our DNA. We've had these goals and these ambitions for how we feel like architecture can be improved and how it can be delivered. We're not working in a 2D world. We're creating this data-rich, information-rich, 3D virtual constructed building. And we're actively designing in three dimensions. That's a core part of our process. If this owner wants to fully engage in this virtual construction experience, we can offer a service that nobody else can touch. We do everything in schematic design up front using the BIM software, using ARCHICAD. And that eventually is the information, the geometry that we're using into construction documentation. As opposed to a more traditional 3D office environment where they might be using SketchUp up front to model, and then they're doing their conversion to ARCHICAD and going away from maintaining the 3D model and the benefits that the 3D model provides. Not only for project quality, but for efficiency. I mean, those good ideas come faster and they're better from the outset. Because of the technology, we're able to work in the same model. We're able to communicate through the model. And our elements are their elements. So when they take a cut of the building, the beam that they're seeing is the beam that we put in. If we move the beam, they're, they're cut automatically updates. Change the wall assemblies, change the floor assemblies, uh, work through different options. Make an adjustment right then and there and hit send and receive and it's done. If it's something that would normally take two or three days, you just resolved it right off the bat. The more real we make these projects, in the design phase, in our minds and in our computers, the, the higher quality we're getting out of everybody on the team. And the idea that it's too hard to make these decisions up front, I mean, I think that's probably the reality for a lot of people. I don't think those people should be in architecture. All of our clients have embraced the process as we've done it. They take it for granted in a lot of ways, the 3D technology and how we're doing things. It's not hard to get on board when we can show them long before they've ever spent a single dollar on construction what their project is gonna look like. We're virtually constructing these buildings so that they can virtually experience these buildings. If we've built our model right, we can create a virtual walkthrough model at the push of a button. Literally, I can pull up my phone and show you a project of ours and fly through it and show you all the sheets. Now you can really say, hey, look, see, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. There's a bolt over here. Oh, I see the conflict now, which is amazing. And then most recently, the biggest thing for us has been virtual reality. What we see from these clients when we give them that first VR tour is, is just amazing. They can get into the model and they can experience. You can actually feel the size and scale of this project from the inside looking out as opposed from the outside looking in, which is what previous technologies have allowed us to do. We commonly will communicate our designs to the owner through immersive VR, and we'll encourage them to walk through the project as if they were working there or living there. You can open doors, you can turn on lights, you can turn on the fireplace. It's, it's really extraordinary, the ability you have not just to view the space, but also interact with that space. And the response has really been incredible. Lots of smiles. <laughs> This is extraordinary. That look on their face when they realize, oh, I, I get what they're talking about. I think the advances uh, with HoloLens and some VR more oriented towards the contractor to aid in their initial field layout, to aid in their facilities maintenance is really interesting and really promising. But I would say that the contractors probably want it more than anybody else. It just adds that another level of clarity of how it all gets put together. You know, once we've created an accurate and complete data set that's in a 3D form, the use of that, whether through VR or anything else, is really incredible. For us, it's such an integral part of our business model, and it allows us to do what we do. We, we would not be the same firm without it. I'm sure I wouldn't be a 10-person firm taking on 35 projects without the benefit of the BIM software. I don't even think we scratched the surface on what BIM can truly do. I feel like we're using it at a minimum instead of a maximum. 
for you architects out there who want to and are able to recapture that master builder status, you have it. It's, you know, it's right here.